In this video, we will cover how to perform permutations, combinations, and using the factorial sign on the TI-84 calculator. And as always, your total number of objects that you have, it's always the largest number. So that's going to be the first number that we type in. Then we go to our math button. And we come all the way over to the last column, PRB for probability. And option number two is your permutations formula. We use permutations when an order is expected. So you have first, second, or third place. You have specific positions, president, vice president, secretary. The third one is combination formula. This is if order doesn't matter. You have 19 total people and you're choosing five. There's no particular order associated with that five. You just want a total of five. And option number four is your factorial sign. So for our first example, we want six total objects and we want to select two out of that. So we will pick the third option, NTR. And then we enter in R, the odd number of objects we are selecting, two. For our second example, we want six per mute two. So once again, enter in total number of objects first. Math, arrow over to PRB, you can select option number two, or you can just scroll down to two, and then press R, the number of objects you're selecting. And the last one, we want eight factorial. So eight, math, go over to the PRB formula. Option number four is our factorial sign. 